Getting on her last year, I believe. Uh, uh, but we're just trying to raise some colts out of her right now. Little gray horse standing over there. He's L8, uh, night lap. Uh, real solid horse that we got from got from Ray Lancaster. Uh, real nice mare. Uh, jumps and kicks really hard. She's a bareback horse. The guys really like to get on her. Uh, this would be four. This would be 14 Ant Booty right here. Just a real wild mare. She takes a little run and leaps up in there and really kicks. She's real wild. Really neat bareback horse. Uh, and that's X77. Uh, free and easy on the other side over there. She's a really good saddle bronc horse. Uh, they won, they, they won uh, I think, three out of the five rodeos that we did last year. They, they won on her. Uh, a really good mare. They're going to be in the high 70s or low 80s on her every time. We, we hope that really what this carefully stood on these mares if we open five six years down the road that we'd have some we ought to have some really really good horses uh, a lot of our mares are smaller mares and that's why we put that Kessler stud on them try to get some um, size to them and we got a little snap in these smaller mares and we get some with some size we we don't plan to be the top horse breeders and we don't claim to exactly know what we're doing breeding these horses we're just kind of experimenting right here with these mares this is 689 Angie Dickinson uh, she's a really neat mare uh, we was real lucky to get this mare we got her from Lane Fulton and he picked her up from a woman down there in Wharton County and just kind of I don't really know exactly where she came from she was must have been bred to buck she's got freeze brands all over her but as you can tell she's just a gorgeous mare big round mare Black Spain, the guys love to get on her. Every time we pull up to a rodeo, they always ask, y'all got that 689 horse? Y'all got her with y'all? Uh, heck, they, they won Port Lavaca on her last year. Malcolm Allen did. I think he was 81 points on her. If you ride her, if you ride her right, she has some big, strong jumps out of there, but if you if you can, uh, you know, really, really get to her the first few jumps and pick her up, boy, you can be a lots of points on her. As you can tell, she's just a big old pet heck. A lot of times if I can't get these mares caught, I'll put a rope around her neck and in the back of the pasture and lead her up and the other mares follow her, follow her up here. But anyway, she's really neat. She's the pride and joy of our bucking horses, i tell you that. Paint mare here, uh, Wesley McManus picked her up at the NFR sale for me last year. <coughs> uh, Moss brought the horse. She's a full sister to Jerry Nelson's War, War Eagle. They call her War Mania. Uh, we kind of more or less bought her as a brood mare. She didn't have a real good trip out there, but we've tried her a few times since we got her back in. She, uh, she's, she's showing a lot of promise. She's just a young mare still. I think she's six now. And, uh, but we hope to get some good colts out of her in the future. These horses here are some horses that came with the Lancaster buyout, and, and they are, uh, really, really good set of horses. We, uh, we think they're second to none in in uh, in, uh, in the amateur business for sure. Uh, regional kind of rodeos. Uh, we got this horse here, six high chaparral. They won uh, when Lancaster was hauling him. They they uh, won a bunch of money on him at San Antonio one year. It's a big, nice bronc. Uh, uh, just really good to ride for anybody. Uh, they. They can be what they want to be on him, just however much they want to be on him, pretty much what he'll be. Uh, the little little flea bit horse here is uh, 44 Blue Moon. He's former Bronco of the Year, former Bareback of the Year. He's getting some age on him. He's still a good saddle bronc horse, and, and uh, heck, he can, you can put him in the bear still if you want to. He's a heck of a nice, good horse. Uh, He's going he'll probably retire right here. He's got maybe another two years left in him. Little saw horse here, 9X Pop Rivet. Uh, man, this is a really great bareback horse. I mean, former UPRA, CPRA horse of the year. I don't see why he couldn't be CPRA horse of the year again this year. I mean, he's just a jam up right little here, son of a gun. This horse should have went to the NFR every year of his life. It's just the only thing he can do is he's, he's a little small. But uh, nobody complains about how small he is. It, at our deals and everybody loves to get on him. He's a great horse. 
a really great horse. We're glad to have the opportunity to get him as well as all these horses. Uh, the the little ball face horse horse here, 242 Dream On. He's another horse that came from Lancaster, and he's a he's a nice horse. Uh, uh, they get him picked up. He really goes at him. Uh, we've got some colts out of this horse. Uh, Ray left him a stud a couple of years, and and then cut him, and his colts have been pretty good so far. Uh, big black horse back here, uh, 122 back in black. Uh, they won a Fort Worth on him a couple of years ago. I think Rod Hay did, if I got my information right. Uh, I mean, a real bucking son of a gun. They don't ride him a whole lot. When they do, they're going to be a whole bunch of points on him. Uh, likes to jerk everybody over his head. I mean, just a big, stout bucking horse. He's, he's probably not the, uh, the dream of any cowboy, but if they ride him, they're going to be a lot of points on him. Uh, this horse here, 92 Gator Eyes. Uh, when Ray and them still had him, they won Mercedes on him this year. Bradley Harder won Mercedes on him. Uh, when Chad and Cullen had him, I guess. Uh, uh, he's a heck of a good horse. Uh, make a Kind of make a circle out there a little ways, real snappy. Uh, another horse that they can be some points on. This gray match uh, right here. Uh, Number nine, we haven't really, she hasn't really got a real good name on her yet, but uh, I'm going to let the Cowboys name her. Uh, Sterling Crawley was 83 on her in the short round at the college rodeo in Wharton a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and she's, she's, uh, she looks like she's getting better every time. I mean, she's a heck of a nice man. The other horse is a horse that's got some age on him, H532 Razorback. Uh, just a good solid horse. They won Cleveland on him this year. Don Henderson was 80 on him there. Uh, made a heck of a good bronc ride on him. Whenever we, whenever we bought the Lancaster deal out, uh, you know we had a already established good pen of bucking bulls. We we got a good following with our bulls and all that, and we got some good bulls from Ray too. But the main deal is we got some really good horses, and uh, we want to we want to provide the best stock for the Cowboys. We want. As everybody know, you can't have a you can't have a great rodeo unless you have good contestants, and uh, that's a big deal. We we want we want our guys to, to come to our rodeos, no matter if we have three hundred dollars added or if we have three thousand added. You know, we want them to be there, and and we're pretty confident that with this quality of bucking horses and bulls, and and we have our own roping or team roping cattle. You know, and we're pretty confident that we can, you know, we'll draw more contestants that way. You know, and. and uh, we're, uh, we're really excited to have this pen of horses and the pen of bulls that we have, and, and uh, we look to do really good this year with the stock awards as well for the CPRA. Uh, this is our team roping cattle, a set of heifers that we bought from a man named Henry Bacon. Uh, we haven't used them, but at Cleveland we roped them a few, at a few jackpots, but uh, not a whole lot. We're going to try to save them, keep them good all year. Uh, we'll use them at the Wild Bill Memorial roping, but that's probably the last jackpot they'll be roped at this year. And we'll probably put a bull with them later on in the year. And uh, so if anybody's looking for a good set of Corinthian heifers there, they'll be with a bull exposed to a Corinthian bull later on in the year. I appreciate y'all's time. Look forward to our next video. We're not really sure what it's going to be. It could be the YRA finals. We're not positive. Uh, got a story coming up on John Gilcrease and the uh, Gilcrease calf shoots coming up in the next month or two. It's going to be real good. Uh, if you have ideas, send us your ideas and we'll go make a story out of it. Uh, we've had some pretty good response out of the, 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 some feedback on the videos. Everybody seems to be liking them. And uh, we're going to try to keep, keep up the good work and, and make it something you want to see. And uh, just remember, for Rodeo, CowboysportsNews.com is your place. Thank you. Mm -hmm.